All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season three, episode eight. In the last episode, we had the scary realization that this island, the people on this island, have the ability to use the uh, petrification weapon, whatever it may be. Not only that, but they can use it in small, like a small coverage area on specific people, presumably. Um, because obviously Sanku and Co weren't hit and of course whoever launched the weapon probably doesn't want to be hit as well unless they have some way to counter that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, then we met up with one of the islanders who is against this kind of leader who kind of sounds like a dictator. Uh, her name is Amaryllis, I believe that's the pronunciation. Um, she seems cool. Uh, she's an ally right now. It seems pretty face value that she's like a legit ally. I don't know if she'd like maybe later on and uh, you know backstabbles or whatever probably not though um but yeah i'm very excited for this episode so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now and everybody just put on the gas masks let's decide all right we're not going to kill these people but we're going to make them feel pain pain that they've never felt before which is worse tear gas or pepper spray I will likely never be evid, so. <laughs> a trump card aboard the science vessel. Oh, is that'd be Suiko, right? Age 13. Oh, she's, she's 18 now. <laughs> is, these kids are going to get themselves in trouble. Oh, someone's following you. Who are you? Oh. The, yeah, they sound like a problem. Moz Kirisama. Bro, he kind of looks like Sukasa. He looks a lot like Sukasa. He looks way too young for you, sir. Weird comment. What has she got on her? Fucking eggs? What are they? Squeezing cute girls. Um. The hell is she swinging? Oh my god, that's the petrification beam. What the hell is it? It's so small. That's fucking terrifying. That just triggered some really bad trauma, yeah. Can you survive it if you're underwater? Presumably not, right? Yeah, good question. Did it stop? Oh, it got some of her hair. She was just out of range. Wow. That's such a specific range. Damn, so her friends have probably been sitting at the bottom of the ocean all this time. What the hell was it? It was so small. Why are you... What are you getting out here? Thought you was, you're too easy, bro. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work on Sanku. Limited area of effect, yeah. Interesting, yeah. We love rules. This just became a little bit easier. Let's fucking go, Senku. Well, at least they're over 18. I'm really cute. <laughs> Kaku? <laughs> a girl who can fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pff, the look on their faces. Kaku's got it going for her. 
Are you saying she's not cute because she's buff as hell? What you got? You're gonna make makeup or something? <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't have a fucking clue. Don't just take it off here. Oh my god. <laughs> Senku cares a little bit. Damn. <laughs> you need to stop acting like that. Nah, put that weapon down. You gotta act more ladylike as well. Oh, they're going back to the ship. Bro, there's people on the ship? Ah, oh, shit. Hopefully, one of those two commanders isn't on it. That would be a problem. All we've got is Kaoku for fighting... Fighting ability right now, and she's in a dress. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so there is a commander. And apparently the head, the head chief as well. Oh, what? Oh, I thought he was the chief. What the fuck? He looks like fucking dude from Aladdin. He's tall as shit. This guy seems evil. Got that evil mustache, evil face. No! No! They can be fixed, but ah, that's a. I don't like that. Bitch! Oh, hell no. Oh, nah, this girl's a problem. What? Oh, no, even Koroku's struggling. Bro, we should have brought more fighters with us. Who's she talking to right now? Is she trying to get someone's attention on the ship, or...? Oh, makes sense. Okay. Oh, she's shouting for Senku. <laughs> well, she wasn't, but yeah, Jen's made it that way. <laughs> uh, oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, she didn't kiss him on the lips. Yeah? That got her to lower her guard? I wonder if there actually will be anybody left on the ship. We know Suik is off the ship. Why can't we actually see the thing that she's pulling out? We know it's tiny. Ryusui using his instincts here. Let's go. Oh, that's how they get the distance because of how long the rope is. Oh, nice! Good fucking show, Kyo. He really thinks he's gonna die here. Jeez. <laughs> Bro, he kicked the fuck out of Suika. Oh, Ginro's here. Nice! Because he was underwater looking at the statues. And he has no idea what this light is. Bro, that one that one was a lot bigger than the, the one we saw in the flashback. That was clutch from Ukyo. Oh god, there's a lot of broken body parts. Oh no. And so this is this is the well now the the people who are, have lived all these years, these obviously Ginro, Kinro, and Co. etc., have now experienced petrification as well. Come on, Ginro. Bro, this this people on the ship. Be careful, bro. <laughs> Ginro, we're doomed. <laughs> Not good enough. Not really. 
He's a bit of a coward. Yeah, like trading cards. <laughs> GGR. <laughs> okay, there must be nobody on the ship. Maybe they're just lights. <laughs> oh no, there are people on the ship. Yeah, of course. How do they know what bar barrels are? They have barrels? Yeah. You noticed exactly where it was? This guy's fucking creepy. What the hell? Why are your eyes black? What the fuck was that? Oh, they don't know what glass is. Oh, it's goats. <laughs> <laughs> They've never seen a goat before? Oh, they know the hundred tails as well. Oh, Shrika's there. She got back on the boat. A mega elite. Yo, respect on Suika. Good shit, Suika. So clutch, and she's like, what, fucking seven years old or however, she old, however old she is? So clutch, let's go. SSR, nice. Right, so that was Dr. Stone, Season 3, Episode 8. Another very good episode, we've got our plan now. Koako is going to infiltrate this event, whatever it may be, where the, the chief of the island chooses... Uh, girls to excuse me girls to marry um but yeah to do that we've got to make koaku more more g girly more ladylike so we've managed to get to the boat ginro's alive um suika as well which is great suika's the clutch one in this situation ginro's kind of a coward uh, but yeah it's a really really funny episode really good uh these two obviously not just the two warriors but also like this vice chief guy or whatever he is um he's fucking scary he's got a terrifying look uh, real evil sinister kind of look to him but yeah these other two warriors seem cool as well got one that looks like sukasa the other one that's maybe stronger than karko and then we got the little whatever it is that does the petrification the tiny little thing which we haven't actually seen yet but it's something on the end of a rope which can be thrown and they can choose the distance of it and it's fucking nuts but yeah, I'm loving it. I'm excited to see more about the mystery and how it's going to unfold and what the petrification weapon actually is. But yeah, anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.